What up? It's your boy Nick here from MMA Pixels with Aaron Jimenez. How you doing, Aaron? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. You have a fight coming up November 18th, War FC, downtown Modesto, uh, Century Plaza against Ishmael Car Caranazan. How how do you feel about that? Uh, I mean, I'm feeling good. You know, it's been a uh, been a long road to get you know ready for this fight, but you know, I'm feeling good. So you're currently undefeated. Um, <laughs> that's a little misleading. <laughs> this is your your uh, amateur debut. How did you get involved in MMA? Uh, so I initially got involved in it through uh, weight loss. I uh, I weighed a lot more about a year ago, and um, I was always watching fights. I was playing like MMA video games, and I was thinking you know, I kind of want to lose some weight. So I initially got into you know MMA training just to lose some weight, but then uh, I just started getting good at it. I realized that this is something I actually think I want to do, and I just kept going with it. Uh, lost about eighty pounds to get to a uh, around a middleweight. So, at, at what point did you say, like you said, you got pretty good at it, but what point did you say, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to compete? Probably about, so I mean, from the, from the beginning, as soon as I got into it, like, why well, I think I could do this, but, um, once it hit me that, uh, you know, I could, I think I could actually do this probably about five months in, I really just wanted to challenge myself and see, you know, how would I fare in combat? Because obviously, you know, hitting mids, rolling, sparring, you, you do pretty good, but, you know, you're going light with somebody. You're, you guys are in a controlled environment. And, uh, you know, I was just wondering, could I actually do this, you know, in the ring, in the cage, you know? How would I fare? So once those questions got brought up, I just, you know, had to find the answer. Once you knew you were going to compete, did you train uh, change anything in your training? Uh, yes, I just took it a lot more seriously. I would say the first, you know, couple months of my training were just, I wouldn't say half-assed, but, you know, I wasn't probably training to my hardest. Once I decided, you know, this is what I want to do, you know, kicked everything in high gear. My training inside the gym was pushing it harder, outside the gym, watching my diet, just making sure everything's, you know, good, clean. How, working on the mental aspect as well. How often do you train now? Uh, every day, pretty much. And, and where is that? I train with West Coast Fitness Center. Um, we're a uh, small little MMA gym out of Merced. That's cool. Is there any other fighters out there that, that we would know about? Uh, Nathan Grisham. He's actually fighting on the card with me as well. Uh, we're the two fighters uh, training out of the gym. Okay, that helps out a lot, having a teammate going to compete the same night. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely got something to, to bring. Um. So you haven't competed uh, actually in an event yet. Have you done like a lot of sparring? Do you, do you think this is going to be a new experience for you, or is it something that you already experienced in the gym? I mean, I've done plenty of uh, I've done plenty of sparring matches at other gyms. You know, I've done one caged uh, grappling match. I mean, I've gotten in the cage before in front of a crowd. I, I mean, I know what it's like as far as that aspect. I don't imagine it being too different to me. Obviously, you know, once you get hit, everything will be real. But I, I feel pretty good about it right now. You know, I'm not too worried about it. You you mentioned that you got into this for weight loss. Uh, are you still currently you know planning on losing weight, or are you at your probably your fighting weight now? So that one, I'm not really sure yet. So this first fight, I'm going to come in at middleweight, but I'm I'm feeling like the next fight should probably be at welterweight. You know, I'm pretty tall, but I'm pretty lean as well. So I'm already at my I'm already at middleweight. I'm already at 185 right now. I pretty much walk around like 180, 186, 87. I'm, I'm pretty light so i think that cut to middleweight or uh, to welterweight wouldn't be too difficult okay and um after after you compete november 18th uh how long do you think until you return to the cage you no know, i'm planning for january as well uh, i want to I, I set myself a goal of you know three fights so i'm thinking about getting back in in january uh as well any uh shows lined up or, or just you just know January. Uh, I'm from Merced, so we have a Ismatic Fighting Championships, and I think they're going to be having their second card in January. So I'm probably going to hop on that one. Okay, yeah, I heard uh, great things about the first card. It, it went pretty well. Mm -hmm. And uh, where was that grappling tournament you you competed in? It was actually Ismatic uh, One. I came in last minute as just a just a grappling match as a filler on the card. Yeah. Uh, 
I was able to catch it on a NorCal Fight MMA had it up on their uh, YouTube account. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I like how they do it in the cage. It's a little bit different, huh? Yeah, I mean, it helps, you know, I didn't know how I'd react once, you know, you hear that cage door shut. So it was good to know I stayed calm. It didn't it didn't make me panic or anything. So, I, you know, I really appreciated the, the cage being a, a factor in there. So um, this is going to be your first amateur fight. Uh, do you like, what do you do for, for work? Are you currently working? Yeah, I work a full-time job, actually. What type? For um, an electrical wholesaler. Okay, so it's not like a manual labor. It's a mix. I'm, I'm about 50% of the day in an office. The other half, I'm in, you know, a pipe yard, cutting wire, pulling order. So it's, it, it can be pretty physically demanding. Do you think that helps, like, with the, like, working out, you know, having that? Or do you think it would be better to focus 100% on MMA? No, nah, I think it definitely helps. Uh, I'm carrying... 60, 70 pound uh, pieces of pipe every day. I'm carrying copper. It, it's pretty physically intensive. So, I mean, even just working out, some days I leave work feeling like I worked up, you know, it's definitely good. It helps me, you know, condition all day. Um, Like in a, in a perfect world, how many fights do you see yourself having before you, you would turn pro? I give myself a deadline of three. I feel like um, three is a good gauge. You know, a lot of guys go into amateur and you see them with, Records of like 10 and 4 and 8 and 12. And I feel like that's just taking too much damage. So, you know, I gave myself three. With three, I feel like I should gauge pretty good whether or not this is something I want to do for, you know, career or something I want to take more serious. So I just want to give myself a good little buffer. Don't take too much damage before, you know, I actually decide to do go pro. That's cool. It sounds like you you have a solid game plan. Um, You had your, your coaches and stuff on board with that? Yeah. Um. It, that's cool to have their support. Do you have a lot of friends and family going to be out at the event? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to try to bring as many as I can. Obviously, not too many. I, I do, I do personally think having too many family members there, you know, kind of that, I can imagine stresses me out. So, I'm going to be selling my tickets, but probably not too many. Probably just mom, dad, you know, the small, the small circle. That's cool. Um, do you have any sponsors or anyone that that's helped you out along the way that you'd like to shout out? I actually do not. I've pretty much been uh, flying solo. Oh, man. Someone's got to pick you up. Yeah. Yeah, I got I to gotta get the word out. So, um, where, where can the fans follow you at on social media? So, my Instagram. I got that open. That's uh, Van Buren Boy. I don't know if anybody will be able to spell that, but that's a nice science club reference. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I stay pretty active on there, post updates about the fight, you know, how everything's going. A lot of weight loss stuff as well. That's cool. Yeah, I saw your, uh, I think it was 2016, 2017 photo. It was like half of you there. Yeah, yeah, I definitely lost a person. (laughs) All right, is there anything that we didn't cover that you'd like to talk about? Uh, No, I think we got it. All right, man, I appreciate your time. Once again, November 18th, War FC, Modesto Century Plaza. Aaron Jimenez. Thank you again, Aaron. Bye, man. Thank you.